Live uh, from New York, from the Wild Horses of Sable Island Gallery. Uh, my name is Roberto Dutesco. I've been documenting the Wild Horses of Sable Island for about 25 years now. And uh, uh, over the past uh, uh, 10 years, uh, um, I have witnessed a lot of transformation here in New York City in the headquarters of the Wild Horses of Sable Island in our gallery. And uh, what I witnessed here was the enormous love uh, of our collectors, uh, friends, uh, uh, supporters, their love that they have shown towards the wild horses, uh, towards wilderness, and towards uh, our world. Um, I've always been asked, so uh, what is next? Uh, what are you doing next? And uh, uh, I will answer that uh, um, at the very beginning in a different way. Uh, by the way, this is live. Uh, there's no preparation, so <laughs> uh, enjoy the uh, the spontaneous uh, uh, action that uh, I'm about to to, to present to you. Um, where we start? Uh, very early, I, I have discovered a very uh, beautiful image. Uh, Carl Sagan he uh, very much publicized this image a long time ago. And uh, on this image, there's a small dot. Basically, what you're looking at, you're looking at the, uh, at the Milky Way. And this grain of sand here is basically our world. Uh, if you're coming closer, uh, you're going to see Europe. And uh, Europe, uh, it's quite beautiful uh, at night, the way it's kind of showing up, right? Spectacular. I'm Romanian born, so somewhere around this uh, lines, you have Bucharest and uh, uh, Romania. And uh, what I love about this particular image is Europe at night. It's so uh, vividly lit. Um, we travel from uh, Europe into America and uh, we discover America at night also, which is very much lit from east to west, so much more on the east coast and of course on the west coast. A large part of it in the center is still dormant somehow. You have the deserts and you have the mountains and you have the forests. And many of them should stay that way. That's what this conversation is about. In the northern uh, uh, part, you have Canada, of course, and then you have Nova Scotia. So the conversation is very much about the wild horses of, of Sable Island. So now you have Nova Scotia and then you have Sable Island. Sable Island is just a dot in this ocean, right? And when you're getting closer to Sable Island, you're actually seeing it in this way, all right? So you know that I've been documenting this for about 25 years, and uh, uh, one of the beautiful images that mo many of you have been accustomed to or have you've seen is the image which I call love. So all this is very much about how we feel about our planet and how important this wilderness is to me and I hope to all of us, and what we can do about it in the near future, which is right now. The Wild Horses of Sable Island has been around for, well, 10 years, as I've already said, and it's, it's, it's through the love that, that you've shown uh, to, to these photographs uh, in the background and to, uh, through your encouragement, uh, I've uh, dreamt of a new project, and that uh, new project as I'm showing it to you, and as I've talked often about it, it's called I Am Wild. So, what I want to tell you tonight that I Am Wild um, is a uh, transformative project. So, uh, I Am Wild is the answer to that question of what are you doing next? So, purpose and profit, uh, I'm, I'm going to read some because it's going to be easier for you to to grasp and for easier for me to explain it in two and a half minutes. Purpose and profit is the future of all corporations and organizations. The IMWAL pl platform will donate 24, of, um, I'm so sorry, it's life, right? The IMWAL <laughs> platform will donate 25% from all its revenues to the planet Earth, the only Earth, the only home that we have. Uh, we call it, uh, or you may call it, uh, fundraiser for the earth. Uh, we want to have a real impact on conservation. So to achieve this, 
uh, the 25% in, uh, comes from the IMOL merchandise, uh, books, uh, art, films, uh, licensing agreements, uh, etc. Uh, the way that I simply say it, you know, from golf balls to jumbo jets, if you're going to see an IM Wild on it, what it tells you that 25% of that purchase will go towards our planet, towards conservation. Our contributions support three main causes, direct donations to local and global charitable organizations, and grassroots environmental organizations around the world. We have to take care of our planet. The second one is building school in developing countries like the Wild Horses of Save Wall Island Kindergarten that we built with the Happy Hearts Fund in Indonesia. So these horses in the background, you know, I built a school about eight years ago and you have 60 kids going to school because of Happy Hearts Fund. So that's what the idea uh, came about and we believe that education and building schools around the world is it's monumental. It's what we must do in order to take care of this planet. And finally, uh, creating wildlife uh, education programs in those schools for the next generations of leaders that will take care of our planet, land conservation and restoration for protection of wild ecosystems around the world. So I Am Wild creates that possibility uh, for all of you to, to live powerfully, to be moved, touched, and inspired in, the new, in this new direction to rebalance our future, the future that we live in every single day, and the future that we are creating for our children's children. Um, a dear friend of mine, uh, a great photographer who lives in, uh, in Patagonia, Antonio uh, Biscaino, uh, sent me a note just uh, three days ago. And uh, he's saying, I'm going to quote uh, from, from his email, now I share personal concern with the philanthropy around the world. I've been involved in conservation for more than 25 years in many different ways. In my photography and editorial work, I'm trying to capture nature's beauty to motivate love and connection that results in conservation. He's saying specifically, we cannot protect what we do not love. I'm gonna repeat that. We cannot protect what we do not love. For the last 35 years, there has been a real increase in awareness and real conservation actions at the global level. But the funding for conservation uh, has not grown at the same pace. Big money, which comes from uh, places like the Gates Foundation or for the Zuckerman and many other mo most, many gigantic organizations, they go towards health and education. Of all donations in the world, only about 3% goes to environmental causes. It is a small percentage for such a big problem. And he f says, I think about the fact that we cannot have a healthy people and society if our planet is not doing well in a sick planet. So he uh, uh, closes his statement with uh, knowing a bit about the wild horses of Sable Island, of course, for so many years, knowing what we're doing with I Am Wild, and he's uh, happy that and willing to participate in this uh, uh, joint initi uh, initiative, a global initiative, which I'm pretty much engaging all of you out there, everybody, all the photographers, all the artists, all the filmmakers, all the creators and the forward thinkers to look at how we take care of our planet and to uh, make sure that we do something which is significant for uh, our immediate future. So what I am wild is going to do, okay, is going to give 25% of all the money that we will make with your support by purchasing merchandising and everything else that has I Am Wild on it. So uh, where does it go? To the world. Uh, that's my small 
big idea which I'm sharing with you and uh, I urge you to to share this idea with other people. As a last note, I just want to say that a couple of uh, days ago was Black Friday and uh, uh, Patagonia had an idea uh, and that idea uh, came an actual reality. They were expecting about $2 million in sales and uh, Patagonia realized $10 million in sales uh, in just one day, Black Friday. And then they have taken all that money and they have decided to give it to save the planet. So, IMOAL encourages you to look at the planet Earth with love. Love through beauty will manifest in, ma in many ways. The sky is the limit. So, IMOAL uh, brings you into, into that possibility. And uh, uh, I'm going to just uh, close with one, uh, with one idea. Um, by asking you a very simple question, uh, what is I am well to you? What does it mean? Uh, how does it manifest in your life and into, into the life of your kids? Uh, I have children, so I'm wondering and I'm watching them uh, uh, how they are becoming wild every single day. And lastly, uh, um, what would be the thing that uh, would make you uh, proudly say, uh, I am wild? Uh, Roberto Dutesco, uh, encouraging you to, to say I'm wild uh, and uh, to take care of our planet. Bye-bye.